In this video, I'm going to show you how you can begin to enter grades into your report card gradebook spreadsheet, as well as share a few tips that I hope will make this process a little easier for you as you try to figure out how to navigate this task. In the next video, I will show you how to go through the steps to do the mail merge, where we would take this data and pull it into the actual report card. The first thing I want to point out is when you open the spreadsheet for your gradebook, you will not see student names. I have put in some student names here just for an example. You will need to type in your student names here. You will also notice that each quarter is color coded. Teal is first quarter, purple is second quarter, red is third quarter, and orange is fourth quarter. The purpose of this was hopefully trying to make it easier for you to visually see the data that you need to put in for each cycle of the report card. So if I am scrolling through this spreadsheet, I will be able to glance um, if I know that I'm doing quarter one and make sure that all the teal sections have data for them because that is what needs to be on the first quarter report card. Now some questions I have had are how do I scroll quicker without having to use the arrow keys on my keyboard or manually coming down here to the scroll and dragging. Um, I am using two fingers on my trackpad of my teacher laptop and when you touch two fingers to the trackpad and move them right to left that will move the spreadsheet sideways and then if you take two fingers again and move it up and down that moves my spreadsheet up and down. So using that little feature there will hopefully make navigating this spreadsheet a little easier for you. Now let's look at how um, a couple different ways we can get our data into this spreadsheet. I know for many of us, um, if we are looking at standards-based grading, our students, depending on the quarter, are probably all level twos, mostly level threes, with just a few students here or there that may not have the same score. So there's a couple different ways that we can take the score and put it for all students and then go back and change just the ones that we need. I'm going to show you first how you can use this really neat click and drag feature to go um, take the same value across um, the row as well as down the column. So I'm going to start with reading. If I know that Donald Duck is a level two across all standards for reading, I'm going to click in the first cell for the reading standards in quarter one. I'm going to type a number two and hit enter. Then I want to come back up to this cell and click on it. And if I move my cursor down here to this green square, you'll notice how it changed to those black crosshairs. If I go down just a little further, I get white crosshairs, and that's not what I'm looking for. I want to move my cursor back up until I get the black crosshairs. And like I stated, I know that Donald Duck needs to be two across all reading standards. So I'm going to click down on my trackpad and hold it down. And then I'm going to use another finger and I'm going to drag that cursor all the way across to this last reading standard for first quarter and let go of the trackpad. And it looks like I didn't quite catch it all the way, so I'm going to go one more. And now Donald Duck, without me having to type in two, for all standards, all I had to do was type it once and I used that feature to drag it across. This also works if I'm wanting to go down the column. Let's say I'm looking at standard one and I know that all of my students are number two or at a level two. I can click on the cell that has two in it, move my cursor down until I see the black crosshairs. I'm going to click and drag until I get to this bottom line and let go and the two is going to drag all the way down. This really is just a matter of preference. Some teachers prefer to go student by student and if they know that that student is a two across the board they can drag the two across the row for that student. Some teachers prefer to grade um, a standard at a time 
And this is a nice easy way just to take that level two and drag it down through the column. What I wanna do now is take out this data because I wanna show you another trick that I find the most helpful, and that is copy and paste. So I can type a two in this top corner here and hit enter. And for me, I know that for reading overall, instead of looking at it per student or looking at it per standard, I just know that reading overall, most of my students are at a level two. So I've typed two, I hit enter. I'm gonna come back up to this two and I'm going to go to edit, copy, and then I'm going to click again. I'm sorry, click, and I'm going to drag so that I highlight all of my students and all of my reading standards. Then I want to go to edit, paste. Now, all of my students have a level two. Now, ideally and realistically, I know that not all of your students are going to be a level two, but what this allows you to do is that if for most of them they are a level two, this copies that data very quickly for you, and then you just need to go student by student and see, okay, I know that Donald's at a level three here and a level three here, or maybe Daffy's at a level one. And you can go in and just make those minor changes where they need to be made instead of having to input every single number. This was the copy and paste feature, I hope, will save you a lot of time. So just a quick review. I showed you how you can take a number and drag it down a column. I've also showed you how you can take a number and drag it across a row. I've also showed you how you can edit, copy, edit, paste. Now you can, if you find it to be more convenient, type in each number if you would like. What you'll want to do again is make sure you're scrolling through this spreadsheet and finding all the teals for quarter one or if it's quarter two, find all the purples and etc. and make sure that all your data is put in. Once you have all your data put into your spreadsheet, the last step is to save it. It's very important that you save this spreadsheet in a place where you can easily find it because we will come back to this for second quarter to put data in, third quarter and fourth quarter, and we will be connecting our actual report card data to this. So I'm going to file Save As, um, and it really you can save it on your desktop, to your documents on a flash drive. I do recommend that you save this in two different places just in case something should happen. It is very important that you have a backup in place. Once you have it saved, um, name it whatever you want to name it, you know, first quarter report card spreadsheet or just report card gradebook. It really is up to you. Click save and you're good to go.